So where are we going? So we are going to the house that I grew up in and ended up catching my first case that wound me up in prison. Everyone's always asking Adam, how'd you go to prison? I'm about to show you guys the very spot it happened. So from when I was born till I was seven, we lived in a trailer and then we moved here. And on this very street, that's the house I grew up in until I was like 20. So we're just gonna do it how I used to do it. We're just gonna jump the fence. It's been like 15 years since I jumped this fence, but I'm gonna show you, come with me. Still got it. This is my old backyard and this, I can't believe it's still here. It's the same fucking fire pit from forever ago. But these trees used to not be here. But you see how that balcony is, that third balcony up there. There was these kids, we had a party back here. Everyone's drinking beer. And these kids were up in that third balcony. And they kept throwing beer bottles down, talking shit, you know, acting like they wanted to fight. Well, <laughs> uh, we waited a while. We kept drinking and having fun. These kids kept talking. Well, finally, they threw something down into the fire. It landed in the fire, and it made a big, you know, boom, the fire went up, and my brother's girlfriend, she, she, you know, she was pissed off, so my brother ends up jumping the fence. I'm inside the house. They're like, Adam, Danny just went up the balcony, so I come flying out of the house. My brother's already, my brother's already up there at the time. You know, it's an easy fence to jump. I get up here, I'm over. So by the time I get to the other side of the fence, it's dark as fuck out. I'm drunk, kind of. My brother's all the way up there and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, I grew up as, you know, one years go, you all go. So my, me, I start climbing to get up there. And I remember getting up there and looking at my brother and I said, you know, once you go over, there's no turning back. And he just looked at me and he, he you know, smirked and he jumped over. I followed him. We went right into there. And uh, these kids must have known that we were gonna be coming because there was a big ass motherfucker and he was sitting on the couch and he had the shower curtain rod on his lap and he was like half asleep. Well, his eyes opened up like, oh shit, there's two guys coming in. And he cracked my brother because my brother was the first one in so he cracked him right across center of the head. And uh, I tackled the guy and as I tackled him, I had him in a headlock and my brother took the <laughs> shower rod from him and just started going to town. So how you like it? How you? You know, and while this is happening, all of a sudden, there's like five more guys that start coming out of all the rooms inside. And uh, shit got pretty crazy. I was trying to hold one guy. I had another guy in a headlock. I'm getting punched in the head. A couple minutes go by and the door, boom, gets kicked. Well, it's my other brother. And he comes in with a bunch of more of our friends. And I'm like, yo, grab that fucking ashtray. And it was a big glass ashtray and this guy that's hitting me while I got this other guy I'm like hit this dude in the head he cracks him in the head gets glass in his you know hand shatters it over this dude I get glass in my eye and uh, my other buddy a couple other buddies end up climbing in through the balcony and I'd never forget it I let go of the one guy because he was unconscious this guy fell down I stood up and my buddy's got a beer in his hand he's drinking it and he's laughing and he throws it and the guy ducks and it just hits the oven the, the glass part of the oven and it shatters and goes through well, while all this is happening I just had like one moment of just like what is happening right this is crazy right and um, then I got punched in like the side of the head and tackled and it was just a big mess well, while that was happening I looked and underneath the table it was the guy who owned or who lived in the apartment it was him that was underneath the table hide like he didn't want anything that was happening and uh, Everybody was laid out. All of our friends were standing around and, and it was it was over with. And everyone's like, let's get out, let's get out. Well, I had this guy in a guillotine. You know, I was choking him. I'm like, I'm not leaving until this dude's unconscious. And uh, growing up, my dad always said, you know, never hit somebody when they're down. Well, when that guy was finally out cold, I let him go. And I'll never forget, I had a brand new pair of white gym shoes on and I just feel go kicked his head. And uh, I, I remember now looking back at that, like I shouldn't have did that, but. That was the start of, of uh, my way to prison. They charged us with aggravated battery, great bodily harm, home invasion. You know, we had never been in trouble for anything in our lives uh, except for fighting. So we just thought we were going in and, and fighting some kids that were talking shit. Well, it turned out it was a lot bigger than that. Do you guys think you were justified in 
what you guys did to them? You know, do you think that was warranted? Yeah, 100%. I think those guys, they were looking for a fight, and they got exactly what they were looking for. I think nowadays, actually, I think in general, people, it's it's really easy to talk, and usually nothing happens, and uh, that's just not how I operate. They felt safe because they're up in their little apartment, but um, obviously that's not what happened. It was really crazy in that apartment when all this was happening. Um, and, and we went to court for two years, once a month for two years, every fucking month, and fought this case. We all ended up going to jail. Our bonds were all $100,000, so you got to pay 10% of that. My brothers got bonded out. I had to sit for a little longer. They are like, Adam will be all, right. <laughs> be all right. At the end of the day, since we had never been in trouble for anything severe except for a couple fights, they dropped from a class X felony, a home invasion, that's six to 30 years in Illinois, they dropped it from a class X felony to a class one aggravated battery, great bodily harm, which was probationable. So we ended up, all of us, getting probation. If I had to do it all over again, um, I go, you know, where my brothers go. I wouldn't want to do it all over again, you know. That's the that was the road for me for prison, you know. I got probation. Probation, everyone knows, that's a setup. You fuck up once, your ass is gone. So, I was on probation for three months, and I got into a fight in a bar. That's a whole other story, but that's what they got me on. They ended up getting me on another aggravated battery in a bar, so I got charged with with that. With, you know, two aggravated. It was a mess. If I could do if uh, if I could do it all again, I would have to. Unfortunately.